All right, what's up? This is uh, Mr. Emmanuel Guzman, and today I am going to try and uh, help teach you how to do frontside half cab flips from the ground up. I would say the first thing that you want to do, or at least be able to do before you learn frontside half cab kick flips, um, is to know how to do a frontside half cab. So. Uh, that is, for those of you that don't know, when you basically are rolling backwards and you do a fakey, you know, ollie 180, um, called, the, called a half cab. You can do a backside, or in this case, we're going front side. Next, you're gonna want to um, basically incorporate a kickflip into it. So the same motions of a kickflip, you're gonna be sliding your foot off the front of your board. So you're gonna wanna make sure you hit that tail first and foremost, that's gonna get the board uh, set in motion. So you gotta hit the tail, otherwise don't bother, just bail and start over again. So you're gonna wanna hit the tail, and then a big part of this, which someone told me a long time ago that really helps, is like kinda think of where your shoulders are. So wherever your shoulders are, your legs are gonna follow. Um, this goes for most like 180, 360 variations. Um, having your shoulders sort of set or cocked in the direction you wanna go is gonna help your legs to, to rotate around and to catch up basically with your torso um, once it's time to you know catch or, or catch the trick basically. So like any trick um, I know you want to jump down 20 stairs because that's what you see people doing but I think that it's best to start it from from the very basic uh, ground level up so I like to just learn tricks first on flat ground maybe into a slight incline just because it helps the board to get all the way around a little bit easier if you're going down something just very gradually um, so i think those are the best starting points flat ground or into a very very like uh like a gradual slope or incline um, and from there you're gonna you know want to next take it to like curb level height stuff so that you have the feeling of like i was saying of popping it catching it getting it around and from curb level, I mean, I guess it's just a matter of uh, how fast and how high you want to go, how high you want to jump down from there. So um, I'd say once you're comfortable doing it down a curb, then go ahead and jump down 20 stairs. And then you want to have your back foot. Oh, the back foot's all, the whole, the whole thing about this trick. You put your back foot. 